Hi, this is Jackie Mosney from UC Berkeley's 190G Patent Engineering class at UC Berkeley. This week I'll be focusing on the in-depth claim of the patent I was discussing last week for Apple's, um, it's one of Apple's patents and they're currently in a lawsuit with the Galaxy Nexus from Samsung. So the patent I will be looking at is patent 5,600,066 and 502. <laughs> and what is claim? is a pen-based computer system comprising of an I.O. display including at least an input tablet, a display screen, a memory system for storing program code and data, a CPU for processing the programming code in accordance with the data, and a plurality of history tables maintained with said memory system, each of the said history tables corresponding to a different field of class, wherein when inputting data via input tables into field from being displayed on a display screen, a list of choices is pr produced from the said history table for a field classes corresponding to a field display on said display screen. Woo! So that was a mouthful. And um, I'm going to be going piece by piece on that to really see what they're talking about. As I said last week, that this claim or this patent is specifically for when you're inputting something as in you're trying to go on the internet and your history remembers what you've already written in the past and it'll type in like completing the request you're trying to make. It's pretty much retrieving historical data, which is really useful. So now let's go part by part to what I just talked about. So the first part of the claim is a pen-based computer system comprising. So a pen-based computer system refers to a user interface using a pen or stylus on a tablet. So that's really anything where you're not using a keyboard, a joystick, or a mouse, which really influ includes your finger and other type of pen that you can use, such as like on a Palm Pilot when they used a pen. Um, it's also referring to um, a mobile device, such as a wireless tablet, personal computers, PDAs, or a GPS service, or in this case, a cell phone, or my cell phone. Um, such an indication of such device for a stylus is generally used to press upon uh, graphics or a tablet, so it also refers to a touch screen, which is the same as I was saying um, for my iPhone. So it's a really, it's pretty much incredibly prevalent to the smartphone patent more since the smartphones are usually dealing with um, touch screens at this point. Let's go to the next part. An I.O. display system including at least an input tablet and a display screen. So the computer input device is what enables it to have the hand-drawn images and graphics similar to the way a person draws images with a pencil on paper. So the tablets may be used to capture data or handwritten signatures. As I was saying with the Palm Pilot, if you use their little stylus, um, they, it kind of creates its own alphabet the same way where you use your hands to dial or use in, like inputting data in that way. So that's for the I.O. display system. A memory system for storing program code and data. So as we discussed in class, uh, codes can't be patented, but what's patented here is the memory system for storing code. So they're not patenting the code, but they're patenting a way of storing the code and containing the memory. And the next part of the claim talks about a CPU for processing the program code in accordance with the data. So the CPU is a central processing unit and is a portion of the computer system that carries out instructions for the computer program. So I believe this is a way of like storing the history and the memory and then retrieving it later. So it's really storing it in the hardware in itself. Um, here it also says, or what I looked up separately, that the CPU plays a role in what some analogs call the brain of the computer. Another detail is the plurality of the history tables maintained with said memory system, each of the said history tables corresponding to a different field of classes. So this is talking about there's more than one history table, so maybe for multiple apps there's different memories for each of the different applications, and they're stored in a variety of sources and locations, and it's not just the history of the program of the internet, which is the example that I used last week. 
week, but it's really the history for across board for different portions of the phone. Another part of this patent is, oh, and this is the last part, it's where in inputting data via input tables into a field from a form being displayed on the display screen and a list of choices is produced from the said table for the field classes corresponding to the field data and displayed on the display screen. So this is talking about displaying this history on, the scr on a screen that can be accessed, not just stored in the both hard and software. So this is with the list of historical data, as in choices and where you can choose again on the screen. It's when you're typing in a few things and a list comes up of potential options. That's what this latter part of the claim is claiming. So I hope that makes sense. I know there's a lot of detail in this, but that's really showing the importance of what's really going on here. Thank you for your time. See you next week. Bye.